Hey what's up guys, Ben here, welcome to another video on my channel, Film Fanatic, and today we are reviewing Bad Neighbours 2. Now Bad Neighbours wasn't necessarily meant to be a memorable movie, I mean, yes it was very funny to watch, yes it's got very funny moments in it, yes it's got a good cast with Seth Rogen and Zach Evron, but it wasn't necessarily memorable. For example, I can't remember any of the characters' names. And so now that they've done a sequel, I was kind of surprised, I was thinking how can they continue the story without it getting boring? But they decided to do pretty much the exact same thing as they did in the first one. But now it's girls. So instead of a frat taking over the neighbourhood, it's a sorority. And if you're like me from the UK and you have no idea what a fraternity or a serenity... A soro sere <laughs> so if you're like me and from the UK and I have no idea what a frat or a, soro a serenity... So if you're like me and have no idea what a fraternity or a sorority is... It's basically a fraternity is loads of guys who get together and drink and party and a sorority is loads of girls who get together and drink and party. However... In America there's a law that sororities cannot party, the girls can't have big parties that the frats have and so Chloe Grace Minette's character decides to cut away from the other sororities and make her own. And where does she go? She moves in next door to Seth Rogen. Imagine that. And so now Seth Rogen and his wife are plagued by sorority party girls instead of fraternity party boys. Now I was really worried that the movie was going to depend so much on the fact that oh look it's not girls, oh look it's boys and there were moments where you could see the main humour was the fact that they've done this all before but it was guys. That was a continuous thing throughout the movie although it wasn't too much, it actually wasn't that bad. They didn't depend on it as much as I thought they would, they had much more original content, they weren't just kind of repeating and using the same kind of jokes as the first one. Yes, they had quite a lot of throwbacks to it, for example, Zach Evron's still in it, the airbag prank back again, or they used the airbag so it wasn't necessarily a prank. <laughs> yes, they threw back to the, the first one, although they didn't depend on it, and I like that. But again, it's very similar to the first one, it's not necessarily a memorable movie. I can remember bits and bobs of it, but again, I still, still could not tell you what any of the characters' names are. But I, I'm going to look them up and I'm going to tell you, listen, if any of you guys genuinely remember the characters' names, leave it in the comments, because I certainly can. I'm going to go look them up. This is where having um, IMDB on your phone comes in very handy. It's like, I can remember some jokes and some funny bits in it that genuinely really made me laugh, because I love Seth Rogen's work, I think he's fantastic. But he doesn't necessarily make memorable movies. I mean, the memorable movie is probably super bad. It's probably the, probably the most memorable one, I can quote that, whatever. Um, knocked up, kind of, uh, and then some like 40 year old virgin which he was just kind of a second day character in. You have to give props to Zach Evron, he went from kind of Disney good boy, Disney angel boy, to being a very very funny comedy actor. Okay so Seth Rogen's character was called Mac, couldn't have told you that. Zach Evron was called Teddy, no idea. Rose Byrne, his wife was played played Kelly, and Chloe played Shelby. I only remember Shelby because she screams it right at the start of the movie. But yeah, props to Zach Evron, he went from being a kind of Disney good boy, an angel boy, to being a very, very funny, funny actor. I mean, all the kind of comedy movies he's done, he's been really good in. Seth Rogen, again, continues his kind of humour. There's drugs, there's sex, and there's a, there's um, crude humour in it, so expect all of that. Because, you know, if, you, if you're a fan of Seth Rogen, or if you've heard of Seth Rogen, I'm sure you will know about all this. Chloe Grace Maness is also an actress who's, she's dibbed, she's dibbed, dibbed? Is that even a word? Chloe Grace Minnette has dipped in and out of drama and comedy. I mean, she did Kick-Ass, the first, the first two Kick-Ass obviously played Hit Girl. She's done this, she's done a few other comedies, but a few other dramas as well. And so it's quite good to see a young actress dipping out of both genres because it opens up whole new opportunities for her. I need to burp, sorry. Oh, what does annoy me about comedies though is that sometimes you can predict what's going to happen or you can predict a joke or you can pre uh, you can predict the punchline and I hate that in comedies because it happens quite a lot nowadays the humour is so kind of dabbed out you know what's coming and there were moments in this where yeah you could see it was coming but because it was done in a Seth Rogen way it was done in a totally what, what was he smoking when he wrote this then it's fine and it's really enjoyable you don't actually mind that much so if you're a fan of Seth Rogen Definitely you would like this movie. If you're a fan of the first Bad Neighbours, you'll probably like it. It's very similar to the first. If you're not a fan of either, don't bother because it's just all Seth Rogen comedy. I would give the movie a 7 out of 10. It was funny. It had its moments, although it was just 
pretty much a remake of the first one, but it was still enjoyable. Have you guys seen Bad Neighbours 2 Sorority Rising? If you have, let me know what you thought of it in the comment section down below and your rating it of 10. Don't forget to hit like if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to hit subscribe. We recently hit 300 subscribers, which is absolutely insane to think that last month I just hit 200. So thank you so, so much for all the support of the channel, guys. I really, really do appreciate it. And if you've not subscribed already, then go ahead, hit the subscribe button to join the family. And I'll see you next time, guys. Take care. Bad douche.